Hello, and welcome back to the Chasing Common Ground podcast. Today, I'm actually doing something unconventional. See, I could have changed my shirt or showered or shaved, but I'm going with this natural look, which looks basically how I look all the time. And what I'm here to say is sometimes when you're going to do something that's been on your list for a long time, we're just here making excuses. So the theme of this is to take initiative towards your goals. It's also holding myself accountable to getting back to regular podcast episodes. And I want to try some new creative things that I've been learning in the time since I've been recording regularly. I'm going to break down what has inspired me to get back to regular episodes. And I might even shed light on some instances when it did me no favors to hesitate to take action. So first things first, I just want to illuminate how much I used to pour into my podcast, how much I've learned from it, how many people I've talked to on the show. So I, at the peak of my podcast, basically during the pandemic, when I was kind of uncertain about my future, when I was scared, when I just wanted to get better, my outlet was interviewing people. So if you go back to when the episodes used to be called The Lifestyle Chase, you will see that I was interviewing like a madman, and I loved it. It was the best. It probably helped me in ways that I cannot describe. And then there came a point where it just kind of felt like You'd make plans to interview somebody and they had to cancel. Or you'd ask somebody to be on the show and you just weren't a big enough account. Or they didn't think that you had much to offer as a platform for them or they were out of time. And the truth is, that is a very real thing. When we are exchanging time with people, we do have to acknowledge that there are only so many hours in the day. And as a person, gains more and more momentum, they're going to be having a lot of people asking for their time. And so that is something that makes complete sense to me. In fact, there have been times when there's certain things that I wish I could be everywhere all at once. And I've had to say no to different, like joining different mentorships, going to different events, and not because I don't want to, but more so just because there's just one of me. And I got to still prioritize my family and I've got to prioritize my work and I've got to prioritize my fitness, getting to jujitsu or getting to the gym or even just taking some time to go for a walk. So here's what has inspired me to get things rolling again. I have just returned from the Real Coaches Summit, which took place in Las Vegas and was arranged by Aram Gregorian. And if I'm not mistaken, that was the most recent episode of the show. So we're we're fresh from getting back. I, I returned yesterday. I actually booked an additional day in Vegas so I could check out the Sphere, which I highly recommend. It is kind of one of those things that you don't need to do multiple times a year. But it's also one of those things that I think you should do once at least. So I had a great experience in Vegas. And what motivated me to go was because of specific people who were there, plus the complete understanding that I would also meet people who I didn't even know were going to be there because I had no idea who they are. And I think that is something that everybody should take into consideration when they have new encounters, whether it be at conferences, whether it be online, whether it be in the gym, etc., Now, the reason that I dropped everything that I was doing today to hurry up and press record is actually because uh, my friends Mike Dola and Jeb Stewart Johnston, they've put together a podcast together, which I'm going to be an avid listener of, and I recommend you to do the same. But they dropped everything to record a podcast about the event because they're also promoting a bundle of videos that you can invest in. So if you feel inspired to learn all the things that I've learned, plus get access to everything from the event that took place last year, plus get 
I think it's somewhere in the range of 50 different presentations through the virtual offering, which I actually took part in. So if you didn't get a chance to see my presentation on SEO for coaches, that is something that I'm going to keep behind the paywall. I'm not going to put it on my YouTube. I'm not going to repurpose for it for anything. I'm not going to share it with anybody. That is something that you only get to see if you support Aram. So I just can't emphasize enough how much of a great experience it was. First, I'm going to give you the what's in it for you part. What's in it for you? You get to further define your line in the sand as to what aspects of the career you're passionate about. You get to make connections, even if you're watching the virtual segments, with who you want to learn from, who you aspire to be more like while still being yourself. You get to have some of the questions that you didn't know you had questions of answered through presentations like Dr. Alan Bacon talked about all the different supplements. Uh, there was a lot of talks about hybrid training. There was a lot of talks about uh, alcohol and the pros and the cons and the recommendations and the societal norms and how it can be probably the lowest hanging fruit of what you could eliminate if you wanted to help somebody reach their goals and how in some cases coaches are messing with themselves to not actually ask like how many drinks do you have per day like sometimes people will just go this whole time working with somebody and they never address the elephant in the room as to what's the alcohol intake because it it doesn't have to be judgy but it is kind of one of those insights that can uh, make make your transformation a lot more profound and a lot less mediocre especially when it comes to just your sleep quality, your mental clarity, the quality of your connections and relationships with the fact that you will feel a sense of presence that you may have never felt in a very long time, and also just your performance in the gym, in life, etc. So this episode is kind of like a reintroduction to get us back on track. I have some pending plans for potential co-host for some future episodes. But I can't reveal too much on that quite yet because I'm not 100% sure of what the game plan is. But I'm kind of manifesting it. I'm kind of putting it out there to sort of like see it through. So if it's up to me, I'll have a co-host pretty soon here. Let's say like in a couple weeks or so. And I think that will make the conversations that much more exciting. We're talking about two people interviewing one people, one person at a time. Or two people walking through maybe some hurdles that they are encountering with their own performance and fitness in life or with that of a client's, kind of like a case study, and just kind of reiterating what I started off with in the sense that it's never a perfect time to start. It's never a perfect time to record a podcast. I got some like stubble around my neck. I, I could be a lot more polished looking. I'm sitting at my messy kitchen table with the camera pointed away from the mess and just pointed to the backdrop because I'm sneaky like that. I didn't pick the perfect time of day. I have to hop on a Zoom call in about 10 minutes here, but I just started with where I was at to put something out to get the podcast back on track to tell you that I am just so grateful to Aram for putting together the Real Coaches Summit. I am so happy that I got to see some people that I really look up to and admire. I got to have some meaningful conversations. I am a big fan of meaningful conversations. I'm an introvert, so when I'm talking to big groups or when I'm in big groups, I can come off as very shy or sometimes snobby. But if you get me one-on-one, then the passion that I have for this career and doing this stuff and helping people really starts to shine. I like to talk to people about values. I like to talk to people about their big goals. I get energized when there's an opportunity for me to help a friend with their goals, to get them on track, to build their confidence, or to just listen to their rant, to what's happening in their life, because we're all humans. We all have things that we're working through, and we all have things that bring us down. So if you've made it this far, I want to thank you. I also want to say we are back. We are back. Just like that, uh, that meme, that gif, I'm going to find it and I'm going to use that for the social stuff. The podcast is back. We're going to be back and just, if I have to do episodes like this, so be it. I look 
forward to bringing back a lot of people that have been on the show already. And I look forward to the potential of some co-host episodes. And I look forward to being able to share what I've been working on over these last two years, the progress that I made professionally, personally, the new things that I know, the way that I speak a little bit better than I did in episode one when I interviewed my good friend Blake Fillion. And I hope that this inspires you to take a leap and invest in yourself, invest in that uh, video package. I'll have that in the show notes, both in the episode and the YouTube video. And I'll be directing you to support Aram with his stuff. And it gets my full endorsement because to be honest, my career was paved through watching the videos, through going to anything that I possibly could. I wasn't always able to afford to go to these events. And the ones that I did go to, I really shouldn't have been there because I couldn't afford it, but I made up for it in the weeks after. This event, I am fortunate that I had enough money that I could pay for it months in advance. That took a lot of work, a lot of long days, a lot of sacrifice, but it's something that I was proud of. And now I want to make sure that uh, I am showing the love that I felt when I was at that event. I want to make sure that I am promoting this package of recordings as best that I can. I will also be all hands on deck promoting this event for next year. I'll probably talk about it for half the year as soon as I know when it is and where to send people because the level of connection that we experience where we're all basically in the same space for long periods of time, we're not bouncing around, we get to eat in the same building that we're watching the presentations, there's lots of areas where we can have one-on-one -on -one conversations, there's lots of things to keep us busy and occupied, and Aram looked me in the eyes and said, is there anything I could have done to make this better, and I honestly couldn't think of a thing, and so that's why I'm going to put out this episode. So if you have any questions, if you got this episode via email, you can always respond to me. If you want to be part of that email list, go to chrislittle.substack.com. My current website is currently under construction, but you can keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, we will catch you on the next one. And thank you very, very much for tuning in. And I look forward to coming back more frequently.